All right, everyone. We are here with a very, very special guest in Fiji. We are joined by the host of Love Island USA, Ariana Maddox. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. Welcome to Fiji. Oh my, this is from the studio in New York. I saw this beautiful hotel in Fiji. Yeah, we are. Thank together. you for welcoming us here. Yeah, <laughs> of course. No, I saw your TikToks so where you were like, on it talking about it and being mm -hmm. like we want to come to fiji so i'm excited i know to here, yeah and now here, here we, we are, are. Yeah. it's honestly freaking us out a little bit that it happened that way but happy to be here yeah you, you are we yeah. was like we really got to do that more yeah, yeah. Like, maybe <laughs> we should just speak things out i you said know? it was like travis kelsey with the friendship bracelet mm -hmm. like oh he had a dream and like we had a dream and we're in fiji yep. yeah um, exactly but you are absolutely crushing it as the host <laughs> of love <laughs> island usa like everything top to bottom yeah. all the looks Thank i think you, you know people are raving about the looks <laughs> this season it's just incredible it's jaw dropping every time yeah oh, really every you. single That's time so you step into that villa i think us and the islanders yes. are like it's a bombshell <laughs> uh -huh. they've been confused i think how what's the process been like getting ready to to host like how much prep time did you have for taking over this job yeah so i found out in i think it was maybe february or march mm -hmm. that it was like you know things were maybe happening and then you know all that stuff has to get worked out yep. and everything but I, you know, I finished my run on Broadway April 7th because we extended. Mm -hmm. So then from April 7th onward, I was like, I got to, you know, and people are like, you got to get on your Zoom. I was like, I got to get on my, I got to get on like a fitness journey yeah. here. <laughs> like I got to, you know. Right. Because you were so out of shape coming off Broadway. Well, <laughs> I, mean, I was like and, in my and like. Dancing with the stars. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, I feel like it had gone like dancing with the stars. I was like in a really great mm -hmm. spot. Yeah. And then for like from between dancing with the stars until I started rehearsing for Broadway, I was like, I don't want to do, I was like, I just want to lay. Yeah. And so there was a lot of that. And then of course it's winter in New York. So you're mm -hmm. like, you're really wanting to like, just be inside, be warm. So I just wasn't really doing a lot of physical stuff. And so then I was like, all right, girl, you got to really, you got to lock it in. I was like, because I don't want to be walking in there. And I know as a fan that, everything's filmed from every single angle there's yep. no like oh it's fine if like this does you know mm -hmm. and i no, didn't no, want to so be limited i gotta look good in slow-mo right yeah which is like well it's a lot of pressure which you look incredible <laughs> like yes. jaw dropping Thanks. every yep. single time Thank the last you. time that we talked to you you mentioned you know you just got to new york how was that getting accustomed to the cold weather you said you wanted to get like the biggest jacket you can I, find and i did <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um i have literally i went to north face and i ended up mm -hmm. getting they had a puffer coat in there that was oh, yep. like that goes to the ground mm -hmm. yeah yep. and it was but it was wide and it has wide arms so if i squat down and i i just i can look like a little <laughs> igloo like, marshmallow, it, yeah, yeah. marshmallow yeah. or something um but yes i did get the biggest puffer mm -hmm. coat i could possibly find it worked out great it was it was nice it was um you know, I hadn't lived a winter in a while, mm -hmm. but it was, a, I feel like a fairly mild yeah. one. Yeah, no, definitely. It was, good. it was not that bad. And also right. now you've gone from that to full blown living in Fiji. Tropical. Quite the right. contrast. Just, I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's technically winter here too, I think. Yeah. So it is technically it's, winter yeah. here. Winter. Which is like, yes. I haven't been here in the summer, but yeah. I'm like, if this is winter, right. I can only imagine. It, right. It's right. gorgeous. How has it been spending all your time here and even just like living here? It's been really nice. You know, we have our group, you know, me, mm -hmm. Maura, Sally, and then all the amazing people that we work with that it's fun when we all get the same day off because right. then we can maybe go on a little adventure. We go out to dinner. Everybody that we work with is awesome. So we've just been kind of bopping around here and there and gotten a little bit of a routine down. You know, I, I would just walk to the gym and then, you know, I'll go to the little market and... <laughs> You know, the the market at a hotel is obviously going to be a little limited. So yeah. like the girl dinners that I have in my hotel room sometimes mm -hmm. are a little, 
weird but <laughs> i feel like that's what makes a good girl dinner right, right, totally. when it makes no sense yeah, I mean, from one from what we just walked in i imagine like there's chip there's chips and cookies yeah. and chocolate yeah. chips. you like find like one individually wrapped yeah. cucumber you're like right, I'll right, take yeah. it. a granola <laughs> bar to throw in the mix yeah yep. yeah you guys look like you're having an absolute blast i yeah. mean from the outside looking in it's like fomo like all the dinners the excursions you guys had johnny bananas he's a blast <laughs> yeah. i'm sure that was a trip yeah <laughs> he really is but i I think what also has been so cool watching you is that you were such a fan of the show before mm -hmm. getting this job and now you're crushing it as as both I wanted to ask you because I think this would be my biggest thing like how hard is it to restrain yourself when you're walking in the villa mm -hmm. and you've seen you know you've seen the episodes you've seen what they're saying in their mm -hmm. confessionals and everything and you're like oh my god like how hard is it to not insert yourself in yeah. <laughs> it's really hard yeah. it's yeah. really hard and sometimes you know um there will be something someone is saying and they're talking about how they're feeling and i feel a very different way because maybe i've seen everything right. or mm -hmm. they're talking about someone that i'm like mm, and i'm just like that's nice you know like or yeah. whatever it is that i say yeah, that yeah, yeah. i have and i'm in my mind i'm, I'm like is the telepathy working? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you message. picking up what I'm trying to yeah, say? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. But you know, it's, uh, it is hard. It's really hard because yeah, there's so many things that as viewers, we see every single episode top to bottom. And on top of that, there's things that not, there's things that not only have the Islanders not seen in terms of things that have happened, but they're also not privy to like, maybe just like different conversations mm, yep. that other people have had that when they're not there. And although I have a feeling, I, I, I think a few opinions of theirs might change once they see everything. But I think for the most part, I think everyone's pretty much, you know, I, I would say like their dynamics, I don't know would change much from what they may or may not see when they come out. Right. Except for a couple of things. Right. There well, are there a, couple, only a couple of things. There are a couple but, of things that we were all waiting for movie night because we needed people to see, aka Aaron and Kayler. We really mm -hmm. wanted Kayler to like open her eyes. Mm -hmm. It does not seem like it's going down that path. She continues to stay with him. I know you're the host, but you obviously have opinions about the show as well. Yes, of course. Watching, are you a bit frustrated i mean yes and no because i understand she's a very young girl mm -hmm. and she's with him 24 hours a day so mm -hmm. she's able to kind of be i don't want to say like the wool pull it over her eyes yeah. a little bit because he's giving her the kisses yeah. and the flirting yeah. and, and the jokes love, and the romance I love and you. the love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's giving yeah. her all of that. So that's what she's seeing. Mm -hmm. So I don't fault her for that yeah. by any means. And she's also very young. And I know she mm -hmm. really, really wanted to come in here and find right. love. Yeah. So I feel like once she felt like she found it, she didn't want to let it go, which I totally understand. Yeah. Don't want to fault her at all for yeah. that. But I think that, you know, I do wish when she said that she was going to remain single, after what she yeah. had seen from the thing at Casa, I was like, wow, I just love that. Like, that's so strong because, you know, when you're single in the villa, you mm -hmm. are vulnerable of being eliminated. Mm -hmm. The host and voice just came out. Yeah. Got you. Single yeah. and vulnerable. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you are now single. <laughs> and so I understand it's a risk doing that, but I thought that was such a strong and amazing choice that her mm -hmm. and Serena both made. But... Once she saw him, it was like all of that went out the window. I yeah. think that, yeah, it it's, I, I know that it's hard yeah. for her, but I, I hope that, and listen. Because he's always he, there. He's always yeah. there. And he is very funny yeah. mm -hmm. and he's very um, jovial. And, you know, I, I can see how someone would be into it. I can mm -hmm. see yeah, how that would course. happen, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I don't, I can't, I know. No, even when I've come in, like, you know, you know, be like, you look really pretty, you know, mm -hmm. or he'll give me like a little like, and yeah. I'm like, yeah. hi, he's, you know, yeah. like he's that perfect. Like he has that full British, like cheekiness. Mm -hmm. Like it's yes, like yeah. the perfect. He's so yeah, cheeky. He's and everything yeah. too. Yeah. He's so um, cheeky. Yeah. I could imagine maybe that's one of the things that might change out of the villa. But yeah. as for their friendships, I, I, I it just seems wish like, she, like, I just wish she put up a little bit of a fight. Like one if night. Yes. Like one even night. if you get yes. back, like even Sleep if you get back together, separately. it's fine. Yeah. But like, 
don't go sleep outside with him on the yeah. first right. <laughs> right like make him actually maybe think for a second yeah. that he's yeah. lost yeah you. because the whole time he, he was like no he no, was like he i know we'll be good i know yeah. we'll be good yeah he tried to sit next to her like they were yeah. still yeah. a couple i, know. And yeah. I, I love when you were like over. yeah because like, i don't could, sit there i also <laughs> knew in my mind that if he sat next to her he would probably whisper things to her like mm. throughout the rest of it and just immediately start turning the tides right so i wanted her to have the support of the girls because and the way he was like, we'll talk about it later. Right. I'm like, stop trying to get her away from yeah. the sports yeah. And you're like, I got plenty of time. Let's talk about it right now. That's what this oh, is here for. Love that. Yes. Like, you're yeah. not going to, because you can't just say, hey, we'll have these conversations right. later. And even he does that the other day in the yeah. game, the Mr. Yeah. and Mrs. game. He was like, I was like, can you explain why you wrote that? It was like one of the answers yeah. or whatever. And I, it's, I don't think, uh, I can't remember if it's in the episode or not, but I was like, can you explain your reasoning? Like why you thought that? And he was like, oh, well it's, and I was like, no yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm asking yeah. you I want to know yeah, Also right. I want to know right. You want to know The viewers want to know And right. I think the viewers Are thankful that you're like No we have time Because yeah. We don't want to hear that It was a conversation That happened That we didn't see right. Like For we sure. want to And nobody's also, pressing him Everyone's, If it's something nobody's, boring you know, And it doesn't matter yeah. They won't they, They'll they right. get They'll right. be like We didn't We don't need this anyways it, But also I think it is something That's going to be interesting So they're probably like Yes please Let's Mm -hmm. go Like Yeah I mean the way That this season Has blown up On social media It has truly Taken on A world Of its own I'm sure you've seen it Like it's gone crazy There are Die hard Fans For like Every islander On the show Some people are getting Like you know A ton of hate As well Mm -hmm. Which is a lot That like I and do they have any idea of how big this show has gotten? No, they have no idea. They are not prepared for what they're about to no, see. No, because when they it's come not out. like there's been times where, you know, I'm privy to the information of let's say, um, wow, we had the most people voting mm, in right. that one that we've ever had, something like that. Yeah. But when I go in and say the public has been voting, I never say we got the most votes we've ever gotten Mm -hmm. or anything like that. So there's like no way for them to know. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can even see it when they talk about it in in just the last episode of like Kayla being like, I don't know if they're seeing something and that I'm not and and they don't like me. And you know, Serena's like, they haven't liked me, but it's like, they have no, they have (laughs) no clue like how everybody's reacting. Or the tweet about Leah, but everybody loves Leah. Yeah. The tweet that was in that thing. So she must think, she has no idea that she has this huge support system yeah, that yeah. she's going to walk out to. What is your take on people shipping Leah and Rob back together? I am not here for that. <laughs> I am not here for it. I won't, obviously I won't be swaying anything yeah, right? Yep. or whatever, but personally, I think that the way that things were mm-hmm. when they got together in the very beginning while initially they did, I saw some like cute moments. Obviously mm-hmm. we all did. Yeah. I think that going back is like not the move. Mm-hmm. And I think that Miguel has given her so much more than she ever got from Rob that she yeah. ever maybe would get from mm-hmm. Rob. And I just think that I, I just, I know. Yeah. No, I'm not here for it. Right. No. And, and we said this as like a, reality tv perspective watching it would be insane like it would be like oh my god this is great tv mm-hmm. but we can't we can't have it happen it's toxic we can't have it happen. Right, like we're Miguel, not watching one tree right, hill we're right, watching yeah, like yeah. real people miguel's choking her with fire yeah literally so <laughs> what that was insane by the way i was like oh my god right like i was like whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah no they have they have insane physical chemistry yeah. but yeah. it is it is funny and i think it's also kind of comforting to know that when you're online and you see the people being like they shouldn't be together but i don't, I don't know like maybe it would like actually be great <laughs> and then you hear the girls and the guys in the villa their own friends being like but are you sure? Yeah. Like, because I think they all, yeah. everyone just seems to love them both individually so much. And right. that's hard because like when you're friends with two people and you love them both, you're like, oh, but maybe it could work. But mm-hmm. I, it's, I'd be like, can we, I, can we take, get a history lesson? Yeah. yeah. And, and right. I don't think Rob apologized nearly enough. Like when, no. No. when Leah <laughs> has not, not. she no. keeps yeah. apologizing. She owned, her, and I she be, owned yeah. it so hard. I want to be like, you don't have right. to, yeah. I promise. When she apologized, it was like, okay, like she felt like she wanted to apologize and that's mm-hmm. fine. Like yeah. everyone knew that she was rightfully angry, but she felt like she wanted to apologize. Sure. So, okay. And then he was like, you know, like I'm not perfect. 
people make mistakes. Yeah, so I was like, yeah. you're like I'm I was, sorry. I was and I'm like, sorry too. Yeah. I'm like, like, you're like, I was so close. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm just like, just get there. Just say you're yeah. sorry too. So we yeah. can all stop being fools for rooting for you in yeah. some capacity. Yeah. But he just, yeah. you know. The, um, the Rob and Aaron breakup has been teased in front of us a few times now. And every time <laughs> it's like the world is ending and then oh they God, just like yeah. can't, I don't know. One of them is going to have to move to where the other one lives. <laughs> no, how are they going to live like, without forget, each other at this like, point? Like forget Kayla and Aaron struggling, like being long distance. He's got to move to wherever Rob's living. across the pond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And then I think about it. I'm like, doesn't Rob live in like Alabama? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> like I can't picture Aaron in Alabama, but in the same breath, I can't picture Rob in the UK. Yeah. No. They'll pick a new place. Yeah, they'll, they'll make, <laughs> they'll right. Their they'll, own. They'll, they'll meet in the middle. They'll make a new home. They'll do like a travel show together where, or he brings them to Alabama. They go to London. I think I, <laughs> it's not yeah, the worst I, idea honestly, that I've ever heard right. of. I, pe- people would watch. Yeah, Aaron has shown more emotion about Rob than yeah. he has with Kaylor. Mm-hmm. And I think like you were saying in the beginning, you don't fault Kaylor because like she is young and like she's with him 24-7. Mm-hmm. But I, I think when she leaves and she sees this, it's going to be like, oh, yeah. okay. I think it also she because i'm sure in the moment she's not thinking she's probably not making that comparison yeah maybe she Mm -hmm. is actually but it's funny because serena clocked it on movie night Mm -hmm. out loud to everyone which i was like finally someone's gonna say it but i think that when she does get online and she does see that other people have been making that observation maybe I don't know. Maybe she'll mm-hmm. see it. <laughs> oh, I love Serena so much. And, I do too. And I'm really happy that her and Cordell worked it out because Cordell was actually sorry. Did you yes. feel like he, you know, appropriately showed that he was sorry for his actions, unlike Aaron and like yeah. Rob? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I did notice that all the guys tend to try to not take owner. They try to say things like it happened or. Right. Um, which I think other people have made that observation as well. I blame his age mostly because Mm -hmm. he is 22. And she said that too, you know, that his age kind of jumped out when Mm -hmm. she was like, I'm not, why am I getting so worked up over this 22 year old guy? And I think that at 22, I can, I think about myself at 22. (laughs) um, You know, he went to Casa. He was getting like this undivided attention from yeah. somebody who was like, I'm here for you. And I think that that his immaturity and his age jumped mm-hmm. out in that it's moment. It's the boys. I think when the boy, you mm-hmm. know, and the boys are like, yeah. wow, jumping up yeah. and down. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of that. But even literally in the moment that he brought Daya back, um, he, you know, as you saw them taking their eyes down and you could sense from him, he was kind of, shaking a little bit um and i think he was really nervous and i think in that moment when he saw serena standing by herself he thought like oh she wasn't just saying Mm -hmm. right that she was a slow burner she meant it yeah um and i think that was like a tough lesson that he had to learn but the way that he stood up for her and their relationship and her feelings in the fact that that moment that they had on the dock Mm-hmm. and when she was you know her yeah. walkabout yeah. fight with him which i thought was just absolutely amazing the way he just was like chasing after mm-hmm. her essentially and just like really wanting yeah. to work this out and she did not back down on how she felt which was super admirable but he also didn't back down on the fact that he really cared about yeah. her yeah. and he didn't and run think, away he no. didn't say you he know what scared away. Away. He he like, like yell back yeah. at her mm-hmm. yeah he wasn't which was it was yeah. like gave her the space like be angry he basically did everything Aaron didn't so right. it's like the exact polar opposite reactions <sighs> yeah right like it's like Cordell's like he, he's showing regret and he feels it Aaron's like it happened, and if I could go back, it'd probably happen again. <laughs> like, yeah, he was yeah. like, this is my experience, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he yeah. said multiple... I mean, yeah, but- Right. And he said multiple times, like, I wasn't thinking about you. And I'm like, if I even heard that, yeah. like, how is that not clocking? No, I know. That's but crazy. But with Serena and Cordell, but he loves they're, her. Just, they're just adorable <laughs> they're together. So like, I'm really... Cute. And hearing Serena say, like, the boyfriend-girlfriend conversation, like, she doesn't really want to have that until they're on the outside. I respected that so much. I respect mm-hmm. Serena and her boundaries so much. Mm-hmm. The too. way that she communicates them to Cordell. I'm like, this is amazing. Like, she knows mm-hmm. what she wants. She communicates it. And he's, like, so respectful of it. Yeah. Totally. And I love it. Totally. Um, okay, so Kendall and Nicole, they've been 
they've been going strong. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Kendall and him egging on the guys Ugh. and the way that he acts with Nicole, you know, is maybe a little bit different, but the way he acts with the guys mm-hmm. shows a different side. I was team Kendall for like many, many, many episodes. Mm-hmm. And then the way he was acting in Casa had me like, whoa, like what the fuck? Yeah. Um, and that really took me back. And I was so, I was like, God, I'm, I loved him, but I'm so angry at him now. Or like, I'm so disappointed in him acting like that. And I don't know what he thought he was doing in that moment. And he has apologized, but then I didn't like the way he was talking about Serena and how yeah. she mm-hmm. was communicating her feelings. I didn't like that. And I was just like, okay, maybe <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But then, yeah, he's so cute with Nicole. And I know that him and Nicole are super close. And so, but man, he really, he really fucked up with that yeah. because I now, ha- that does make me question his. It's tainted. It's tainted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's tainted. Yeah. And Definitely. that's unfortunate because mm-hmm. up until that point, I was like, wow, he's everyone's hype man. It's yeah. so cute. His friendships with the girls are so cute. Mm-hmm. And then. Right. Right. What the fuck? It's a lot of, a lot of like Casa boy, the boyhood. Like it's mm-hmm. like a lot of these guys feel like they didn't maybe have a lot, like a lot of guy friends like growing up or something. And now, <laughs> and now they do. And they're like, I got to do it for my boys. Right. <laughs> or <laughs> maybe they weren't like cool at some point. Right. Now they feel it's like, like they have I don't know what it is. That yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's something there. But um, okay. Sadly, we have to wrap up. Oh my God. That was the fast. I know. Yeah, it, it, was was, so it was fast. so fast. It was so fast. I will Speed say. Round. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Last one. Um, Who are you? Like what couple are you rooting for? for the most on the outside Serena and Cordell yeah I think so who do you think is going to end is the quickest after the season ends um well I think Rob and Cassie is like the easiest <laughs> <laughs> right that's her that's her yeah easy good call, answer good call. Easier good. hey you never know maybe they you never know. They, they have the they have the history um and but, I have to give a shout out to Janae and Kenny because yeah oh my god I I'm mean, obsessed with like them. Kenny Listen, obsessed with Janae and the freaking heart rate challenge oh un- Believable. She is unreal. No, she she is so no, freaking beautiful. So I want to die. Like, She's so pretty. Not to be graphic, but when Kenny like grabbed her ass, or I was like, okay, wow. Like yeah. when he first came in, I was kind of like, I don't get it, because like, he was also saying things like, "Let me taste your lips." I was like, Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah I think it's the outfits too. And, and then he like, just yeah. really yes. wrote, and now mm. I'm like. Kenny yeah. I'm like oh my god Kenny and Janae yeah. like and the way that everybody roots for them too I she'll was make like, him oh. cooler too you know like she'll sure. she's like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think yeah. so yeah I'm, obs- I'm obsessed with them like yeah. I could have like well no maybe not everything I was gonna say I could have watched like them in the hideaway for a whole episode then I'm like no that's actually probably <laughs> yeah. not right. good and like up actually, until a certain yeah. point I don't mean like look, that we, far yeah. but like we can say that we're happy they yeah. were in there you know yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and spend as much time as you want in there yeah. no yeah. one's it's gonna joy. come knocking enjoy it. enjoy it. enjoy oh my god exactly well, thank you so, thank much, you so Ariana. much Ariana thank you for making thank the time you. and we're so excited to be here with you and yes. we'll see everybody on after sun yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you thank you